What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 players to look out for in the NBA 2K20, not 2K19, 2K20 $250,000 tournament. So the 250k tournament, a lot of people think that it is completely up in the air. And while all the players that I mentioned here are definitely, not all of them are, are guaranteed to qualify, heck, maybe only half of them will qualify. And these are guys that you should look out for near the top of leaderboards, who are going to be consistently right up there. So, one player I was gonna talk about in this video was Valor. Valor was a qualifier last year. He reached two tournament finals from, well, my team ranker tournament finals last year in NBA 2K19. So he is an absolutely elite player. I just couldn't find any footage for him, so, or people playing against him even, so I couldn't really put him in the video. Another guy that I haven't even mentioned in this video, New edition flash or splash edition without question is going to be right up there for qualifying. Dichotomy if things go well, Jamo go crazy. Basically, all the top players from NBA 2K19 are going to be able to shot at 2K20. And as always, there will be a couple of players that come out of nowhere, but they will, there'll probably be maybe two or three of the 16 max coming out of nowhere. Most of the people that will qualify will be well known players in the competitive my team scene, which a lot of you guys may not know about. So, anyway, now let's get on to talking about some of the players to watch out for. First player is obviously turn up defense, and I also forgot to mention this is only going to be on the PS4 side because I know zero about the um, <laughs> I know zero about the Xbox side. So turn up defense will definitely feel hard done by last year, especially in game one and Alphonse. In game two, Skip definitely outplayed him, but in game one he seemed to be completely in control. He had pretty much a chance to either ice the game or at least make it to a stage where Skip couldn't get back in the game or he couldn't win the game. And he went and missed a 92% chance free throw with Karolenko and also missed a wide open leaner, which from 2K19 going went in consistently. Turnup is an extremely good player, really good defender, great at getting in passing lanes, can really punish poor play, which is a big, big reason why I think he's going to do really well in the qualifiers because the better you are at punishing poor play, the better you are at destroying bad opponents, the better chance you have of qualifying in the way the system is right now. So Turnup's definitely someone in with a chance. So I don't know whether this guy's qualifying right now, and obviously this is not going to be Denver Struck. Denver Struck may or may not come up, but this is Brown Boy, our Uncool Maddie, the point guard for the Indiana Pacers NBA 2K League team. The GOAT of NBA 2K18, my team. Like these, this is literally the only footage I can find of him anywhere online, but um, Maddie is literally, when he's at his best, he's arguably the best NBA 2K my team player there's ever been. He focused big time on Pro-Am, on getting, becoming one of the first 99s last year. And while doing that, he ended up making the NBA 2K League. He's actually a former Division I college basketball player who I've actually been trying to get to come over to Ireland to play professionally for years. But he's decided to stick with 2K and it seems to be working out for him. Def like this is a guy who I can almost guarantee you, if he tries, will qualify for the tournament. Will qualify for the final 16 of the 250K tournament. I can almost guarantee that. Sorry about the poor footage, but this is the best quality I can get for Boo Painter or Shump. The top scorer in the first season of the NBA 2K League. He was actually banned from the NBA 2K League in the second season, so he decided to focus a little bit more on my team. And this guy, you can argue, is the best all-around 2K player in the world. One of the best players in the 2K League when he was in it, without question, is going to be one of the best players again in the 2K League Season 3. When you talk about exploiting the game, when you talk about cheese, there is nobody that does that better than Shump. Shump can adapt to any form of cheese and he can dominate it. A guy who dominated with the 2K18 blow by, when they took out the blow by, he was still dominant in five out. Great at getting in passing lanes. His defense is a little bit suspect. I played against him last year and I was scoring at will, but he is one of the best offensive players I've ever played against. An almost unguardable player. Unfortunately, he did come up against Goggles, arguably the best defensive player in the world in the first round of 250K last year and didn't make it true. But... Yeah, um, definitely a person that I think will beat bad players by enough that he probably will qualify. Next up is a player who didn't really play that much my team last year. A guy who's been in both seasons of the 2K League, was actually a teammate of Shump in the first season and then played for the Warriors in season two. And it is Jin Sanity. Jin Sanity played in the MTR tournament at the start of 2K19 and ran through that tournament easier than anyone except for maybe Brown Boy in the 2K18 tournament. Nobody except Goggles was able to stay within 20 points of him, and he still got a relatively comfortable win against Goggles. He actually beat Brown Boy in the first round of the tournament last year, two elite players, two NBA 2K league players, and 
I don't know how much he's been focusing on my team. I don't know if he's even going to be going for the qualifiers this week because obviously I haven't spoke to him in quite a while. But one thing's for sure. It's a matter, like, without question, he is going to try to qualify for one of the weeks anyway. And he is going to be right up near the top. A guy who nearly qualified week one last year, except because of the whole disconnect thing, he didn't. And a guy who did end up qualifying second week. The first week before the disconnect issue came in, he was the first qualifier. Definitely a guy that, if he decides to focus in any way on my team this year, will be one of the 16. Next up is a bit of a strange inclusion. This is a non-qualifier from last year and a guy who... I don't think he won any tournaments last year, but a consistently good player, and it's MJ's. So MJ's was part of the Twitch All-Stars team, which was put together by Ambish to play in the my, or to play in the YouTube versus Twitch All-Stars tournament last year. Got a fairly comfortable win against YBC. Had some good tournament results. Unfortunately, he just seems to be a player that comes up a little bit short when it comes to playing against the elite competition. Obviously, this is 2K19 gameplay, but no, MJ's is a guy who's going to be right up there near the top. He's a fifth, I think he's, it's iffy on if he'll qualify or not in one of the four qualifying weeks, because he just, he didn't qualify last year, you haven't seen him up near the top, but he is just that little bit below the best of the best in the world, and I think a good week for him, a good shooting day, and there's no question he's going to be, he has a chance of making a top four, and I think without doubt, top ten, he'll be there or thereabouts most weeks. Next up, we have got Goggles TV. This is a guy who should feel really, really hard done by from last year a guy who suffered with fairly bad lag against turn up defense in the final of the ps4 side of the 250k tournament goggles or i am jalen moore is one of the best players you will ever ever come up against in nba 2k the best defensive player in the world the only player as of right now to have beaten tyler debo in a competitive game of my team in a tournament and he did it twice in a row, once on player friends, once on superstar difficulty. Goggles, he's, could he be, I don't know if he's playing much 2K right now, but he's a guy who, even when he's not playing 2K, is still up there with the best players in the world. So if he wants to take this 250K seriously, I gotta say this right now, he's, the fav he's my favorite. He is my prediction to win this whole thing. You just never know with Goggles because uh, he is very involved with the church, how much 2K he's playing, but if he's taking this game seriously, he is my pick for the 250k. Next up is Denver Stroke. I'm not even sure if he's playing this week, which is obviously week one today. But Denver has literally the best team in the game. Nobody has grinded more of this game than Denver Stroke so far. Maybe Henry, but I'm going to say it's probably Denver with those thousand wins and triple chat offline. Denver is also a really good player. There is no question about that. He came within one possession of beating Tyler Debo last year and has beaten some elite elite competition he beat crime house who was a qualifier for the 250k tournament and he beat him actually no he beat him on the buzzer but he still beat him and denver is getting better year on year at the game he's a 40 something subscriber youtube channel so do i think he'll qualify for the tournaments i think he's got a good chance do i think he's gonna win the 250k i'm sorry denver i don't think is likely but denver is flying the flag right now for the my team youtube scene and i'm just praying that at least one of the my team youtubers qualify this year so yeah we finally are on to him i'm guessing half the comments are where's tj where's tj where's tj and tj or day is without question going to be in with a shot of winning if it comes down to lag he may like he literally only lost last year because of lag you don't know turnip might have beaten him he might have beaten turnip but the lag was a big factor in that game he ended up winning the Twitch Rivals tournament and just embarrassed every opponent until he played Shump or Boo Painter in the final where that was a close game. TJ coming out on top. He's one of the larger, probably one of the largest Twitch streamers ba uh, my team based. I don't know, again, I don't know how much my team he's playing. He was playing Park for a while, I don't know how much 2K he's playing, but even if he has never played my team until about three days ago and came back into it using a budget squad, he'd still be in with a chance of qualifying. He's that good at 2K. Do I think he's going to win 250K? I don't think so, but at the same time, you can never bet against TJ. He is that good at 2K. And last up is the most dominant competitive player the my team comp scene has ever seen. And it was Tyler Debo. Nobody knew who this guy was in the middle of May last year. He won Valor's tournament, reached the final of the MTR Invitational, won the MTR Cup for $500, then won the MTR Endgame Cup, and then went and won the King of Kings tournament. 
this guy, as well as winning a lot of other small tournaments, this guy has lost one competitive game. Well, it was a best of three and he lost two nil, but it was to Goggles, who is, you can argue, is the best player in the world. This is a guy who in 2K19 was the most dominant player any difficulty we've ever seen, but he was also a player who ran heavily through Yanis, and Op it was Opal Yanis, obviously. So it's gonna be weird to see how he goes without really good players because a lot of his game plan was getting in passing lanes, was relying on high rate of players being able to get some steals, was relying on being able to spam through Yanis. So I don't know how he's gonna get on early, but if he does qualify at all, if he is one of those 16, I find it hard to bet against him come February when the tournament happens. He's been at stage, we will have some really high rated cards and he'll be able to play his game. So anyway, that is the video. The 250k tournament is probably going to have just about started by the time this video is up, or it will be just about to start. I'll probably end up having it uploaded. Hopefully it renders and stuff before my first game, but let's be real, I'm not gonna qualify, so at some stage uh, during the day anyway, um, this video will be going up, because I'm not gonna last the whole way. Let's be honest, my team is not very good on console. But yeah. These are just 10 players that I think you guys should look out for and 10 players you should expect to be near the top of the list. I don't know what PSNs they're running. I genuinely don't. They could be using any um, PlayStation Network account. It could be their own, it could be others. I have absolutely no idea. But these are the players, the people, that you should definitely be looking out for. I just dropped my controller there. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.